change the way a face looks using the liquify filter. If there's a face in your image, it'll find it automatically. Here you can do things like changing the eye size, height of the nose, the amount of a smile, and even the shape of a face. But what if you want to do something more? Let's make this face frown. Use the strangely named forward warp tool, and with a large brush size, you can do things like pushing down on the eyebrows. But you can see this is distorting the eye. Let's undo that and switch to the freeze tool to paint over the eyes so they're not affected. Now when we use the warp tool, the eye area is left alone. We don't need to see that eye area highlighted. We can scroll down the bottom and uncheck Show Mask. We can complete the frown by turning the corners of the mouth down. To get the very corners, we can make the brush size smaller using the left bracket key. And now we can get finer control over how we shape this. You may find that when you do something like a frown, the lips get too thin. Well, we can fix that. Let's go back to the face controls and simply make the lower lip and the upper lip thicker again. Of course, you're not limited to making these kind of subtle changes. If you want, you can easily make Vulcan ears on your face.